Hey everyone, Reese here from Levity Vans, and I'm very excited to introduce you to our latest build, a 2022 Ford Transit that is built as a Levity Local. This van is designed to seat and sleep a family of four while also being a total gear hauler, and it excels at both. This van is wicked cool and super functional, so without further ado, let's get into it. We'll begin with the exterior of this van since it's totally kitted. <laughs> the first thing you'll probably notice out here is the surfboard. So on this side of the van, we have the Illumines surf pole and ladder combo with four surf hooks that allow you to mount two lawn boards to this van. As a lawn boarder myself, it is super nice to have these because it saves you from having to chuck your boards either on the roof where it's pretty heavy to log them up there or chucking them inside where they take up really valuable real estate on the inside of your van. This van is equipped with four canoe locking straps. So these have steel cables running through them so you can't cut them and they're super easy. There's a little lock right here. You just have a key. You can lock those real tight and then cinch them down and then that's not going anywhere. On both, of the, on both sides of the van, we have flare space flares that allow you to sleep sideways, maintaining your front cabin space. This ladder gives you access to the roof where we have an Illumines touring roof deck. We absolutely love roof racks because we feel like it gives you a whole other room and dimension to your van. You can throw some chairs up there and watch the sunset, or you can just use it for extra storage for stuff that you don't want to keep inside your van. Mounted up on the roof rack, we have a single 400 watt solar panel that is charging up our Goal Zero power system in this van. Moving to the rear doors, we have more Illumines accessories. So right here, we have our Illumines rear door tire carrier. And right here, we have the Illumines bike carrier. This carrier will have two one-up bike racks on it. They just have not arrived yet. <laughs> so with the addition of the two bike racks right here, we also have plenty of storage inside for bikes. This van should be capable of being able to haul over six 29-inch mountain bikes. So pretty perfect for shuttling a group of friends on some downhill rides. For our main windows in this van, we opted for the Van Windows Direct half sliding window on both the sliding door and the driver's side crew panel. These are our favorite windows to install in vans because this whole thing slides open. There's a screen right here, and then the screen also slides, allowing for full pass through. We've installed these on a lot of vans and we couldn't be happier. Last but not least for our exterior accessories, we have a Fiamma F45S on it. Similar to the roof rack, we love awnings because we feel like it adds a whole nother room and dimension to your van. I would have it out right now, but it's a little windy, so I'm keeping it up and we're just gonna talk about it. These clients plan on doing most of their cooking outside, so an awning was a must. Hopping inside the van, the first thing you'll probably notice is this white cabinet here. This is where we house our fridge. So in this van, we decided to utilize this Norcold fridge because it's quite a bit skinnier than the isotherm that we would normally use. We have a really awesome bench seat right here, but it's about 47 inches wide and it prohibited us from using the isotherm 130 that we would normally use, but this Norcold fit the bill perfectly. It has about 3.2 cubic feet of space, which is a little bit more than the isotherm 85. These clients wanted this fridge mounted in this location because they will be doing most of their cooking outside. So they wanted to be able to access the contents of the fridge if they were outside or inside the van. On top of the fridge, we have a one inch bamboo countertop, as well as a single burner induction cooktop if they ever needed to cook something inside and it was maybe raining or something. Why not? Moving further into the van, here is where we have our primary living space. This Ford Transit came with factory swivels enabling us to turn this area into our living room. Down here we have our Lagoon table mount mounted to a piece of 3 quarter inch bamboo and the Lagoon table is currently being stored over my head in our overhead shelf. So why don't I grab that and show you what this place looks like in dining room. And here we have our Lagoon table. The Lagoon table is our favorite table option for installing in vans because of the flexibility it has for maneuvering the table, adjusting height, and it's also really, really sturdy. So this is three quarter inch bamboo and I'm pressing on it pretty hard right now and it's not really moving that much. So I'm gonna put this back, back up top above my head and we can continue on with the living room tour. Moving up top here, we have our control panel and this is where we have all of our controls on dimmers for the cabin lights, the lights over the bed, the kitchen light, the awning light right here. And then we have a three-way switch for our garage lights, as well as a button to turn on the water tank heater to keep your water tanks from freezing. 
This van gets its power from a Goal Zero 1500X that is behind this bench seat right here. We really, really like putting Goal Zeros in our Levity Locals because they're super small, so powerful, and also really affordable for what you're getting um, out of the system. They can be charged via solar panels, shore power, and your vehicle's alternator. And it's just such a convenient solution for a van of this nature, and we really enjoy putting them in our Levity Locals. Up top here, we have three massive storage cabinets running the entire length of the van. So these are the perfect place to store your clothes, your gear, your shoes, or anything else you can fit up there. Earlier I mentioned that this van can seat and sleep a family of four, but as you can see, there's only one bed in here. Or is there? This bench seat that I'm sitting on is called the Broad Arrow Folding Seat and is made by Wilderness Vans in Alberta, Canada. We absolutely love this seat. We love how it looks, how it feels when you're sitting on it, how it functions, and we also love Wilderness Vans. There are a lot of really, really great companies in the like outdoor van conversion industry, but man, Wilderness Vans has been a absolute joy to work with. They're awesome. So I highly recommend checking them out if you guys uh, want to see some of their products. So we're a big fan of this seat and why don't I show you how it folds. This bench seat gives you about four feet wide and six feet long of sleeping space. They also have a three seater that is just a little bit wider. The parents are gonna go up top in the bed with the flares and the kids are gonna go down here. Right now the kids are really young, so this should be plenty of space for them for quite a few years to come. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn this back into a bench seat and we can continue with the tour. Here we are in the bed. This mattress is sleeping sideways, uh, utilizing the flare space flares. And the flares give us about 80 inches of sleeping space in the Ford Transit, which is super awesome. In the trim ring, we have a, the same fabric color as the ceiling to give it a nice little bright color and a nice pop of color in the van. And we also have two USB ports, one USB-A, one USB-C, as well as a full household outlet in here for charging anything bigger like you might need, a, like a laptop or something like that. Right over my head here, we have two USB touch reading lights. So there's a USB port on the bottom of this that allows you to charge your phone. And these are touch activated so that you can have a reading light while you're in bed without turning on all the rest of your lights. All right, that about covers it for the cab. Why don't we head around back and check out the garage? And here we are in the garage. As you can see under this bed, we have a ton of storage for all sorts of stuff. The first thing you'll probably notice is this massive drawer slide. This drawer slide is mounted with four bolts, so it's super easily removable if you wanted to take it out and open up all of this space for hauling bigger stuff. We really like it here though, because it makes just loading things in and out of the van super, super easy. One of those things being mountain bikes. So this bed is mounted at a height that allows us to fit multiple 29 inch mountain bikes uh, under here. That is also thanks in part to these low rise mountain bike fork mounts made by Titan Vans. They just screw straight into some L track that we have in the drawer slide. Super easily removable, but also super, super functional. In the back behind the drawer slide, we have our storage for our Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. And that is being held in place with two simple tie downs into some L track pucks. So it allows for super easy removal if you wanted to. And it also keeps it out of the way so that you have space for other stuff. For additional mounting in the garage, we have two strips of L-Track running widthwise in both the front and the back of the garage for whatever storage options you might want. In this configuration, we have a drawer slide mounted to the left right here. And then on this side, we have some surfboard storage. So we built these really cool removable surf poles with this foam on it so you don't ding your board. And this is so that you can mount short boards back here in the event that a short board wouldn't fit between the surf hooks that we have on the outside. So I'm a longboarder myself, so that is my surfboard outside and it fits great. Um, 
the, lo the shortest board that I have is seven feet long, <laughs> which is this one, and it fits perfectly. I could easily fit a seven foot four board back here, and it would fit with no issues. When designing this van, we want it to be super functional, but also be able to take a beating. So as we move on to our wheel well boxes, you will see that they are coated in coin mat and angel aluminum, and they're also able to open from the top uh, so that if you have a bunch of gear back here, you can still access whatever is in here. Each of these wheel well boxes is over five feet long and about 24 inches deep, giving you a massive amount of storage in here. And it's just awesome and so functional. Right here we have a little stash cavity so you can throw some old, some stinky mountain biking clothes. And we also have our fuse panel right here so that you can easily access that. Last but not least, as we conclude this tour, we have our outdoor shower and little switch panel for our garage lights. This outdoor shower is all metal and it is made by a company called High Sierra. And we really like this shower head because it's a low flow. So it only has, let's see, one and a half gallons per minute. And it has a full spray function. So you can spray down muddy mountain bikes as well. If I click this, it has a trickle function for conserving water during the showers. So it'll just be a little dribble of water coming out. So you can, and it also, you can stop it all the way. We've had a lot of luck with this and we are a huge fan of this. And we use this in all of our builds. Here we have a Blue Seas OLED tank monitor. So this allows you to digitally see a very accurate representation of how much water you have left in your tank. Well, that concludes our tour of this Levity Local. As I said earlier, I don't think we've ever built a van that better suits a Santa Cruz Local than this one. As someone who lives here myself, this is what I would want driving around every day because I would feel just as comfortable chucking wetsuits in the back and throwing muddy mountain bikes in here as I would taking this thing across the country. It's durable, it's functional, it's comfortable, and it's also affordable, relatively. <laughs> if you think a Levity Local would make a good addition to your lifestyle, or if you just have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at levityvans.com. Until then, I'm Reese from Levity Vans, and I'll see you next time. Adventure awaits. Oh my god, this is awesome! You look so good. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna go in there? <laughs> <laughs>